Hey guys, Drifter here. I've got some leaked information for you about Modern Warfare 4. I've got the title, I've got a release date, I've got gameplay information, i got multiplayer, single player information, got a lot of information going on here about the game. I'm going to tell you this comes from a very reliable source on this channel. I very rarely do any sort of informational videos, especially not these sort of leaked videos because very rarely the information is legitimate. But a subscriber of mine is, we'll say, a part of the Call of Duty machine and making the game. You have a lot of different branches, a lot of different people. An insider leaked me this information. It's it's also a subscriber that I trust a lot. I talk to a lot of people. I know a lot of people. This is a person that I do quite literally trust with my life, which is the reason that I'm posting this information. So this comes from the most direct and trustworthy source that I'm ever going to get anywhere. And without you know teasing you anymore, here is the information. The next Call of Duty, or Modern Warfare 4, is going to be Call of Duty Ghosts. That's not Call of Duty Ghost, that's Ghost with an S, uh, plural. Previously, they were working on some things like Call of Duty Phantoms. Phantoms was the other subtitle they were kicking around, but they went back to Call of Duty Ghost. It's not going to be Modern Warfare 4, it's just Call of Duty Ghost. It's going to be starting its own thing. I believe it's going to be branching out of the Modern Warfare series, but moving into a different direction. I wanted to let you know the gameplay in the background is not mine. I'm actually at Boston right now in PAX. Uh, very unexpectedly, this information came my, my, my way, so I'm putting this together on my wife's laptop very very quickly the gameplay was graciously donated to me from jhub and i would appreciate it if you check out his channel it's down there in the description if the information that I've been giving is correct, we should expect an announcement near May 1st. What I was told is that the announcement would be on May 1st. It may be 2nd, 3rd, 4th, or if I upset somebody at Activision, they may change this just to troll me. But the announcement, the trailer, the leak, the information, the big reveal is supposed to be coming May 1st, so be looking for it. Then that's not very long from now at all, a month plus a week or so. The story, uh, for the campaign anyway, is set in the future. It's a future story kind of like Black Ops, but it uses current generation weaponry and this confused me it's like okay so we've got future game but we're using current generation weapons and as it was explained that it's a major plot event that causes the people in the future to have to use our older weapons I'm assuming maybe it's like a black ops style hack maybe it's like a uh, apocalyptical sort of thing I'm not exactly sure what the story is going with but the story set in the future and they're going to be using mostly current generation weapons the multiplayer loading screens are now dynamic. Previously, like in the beginning of this game, you just loaded up and you had your countdown timer 5, 4, 3, 2, and then you would go in and load into the game. It was very, very boring. In this next Modern Warfare game, you're going to be repelling from a helicopter. It's not actually a Modern Warfare game, it's just Call of Duty Ghost. That's what we're going to be doing. Uh, it's a dynamic loading screen, kind of like the neat ones from the, uh, we'll say, the Black Ops single player campaign or some other things you're going to do like repel from a helicopter into the map or like break some glass to enter into a building into the map and some other areas we might be sneaking into a map but you're not just going to randomly load up in a boring way you're going to have some sort of little mini game that gets you into the map keep you a little bit more interested in between the loading screens they also have changed up player movement a little bit from what I've been told or I'm, I haven't been told anything about Dolphin Dive. Dolphin Dive has not been mentioned to me. I asked, they didn't get an answer about it, but that's not a big deal. But instead, we're going to have what we call dash into sliding while shooting or sliding while shooting. Imagine if you sprint and you kind of slide on your knees or on your butt and you can shoot while sliding. This is going to be a move. This is, again, the information related to me. I'm not exactly sure how it's going to relate to gameplay. I'm imagining like you crouch and you slide a little bit faster. Probably going to be fixed. You're not going to be able to cancel that slide and you shoot while doing this. I believe this is going to be the competitor or the replacement to the dolphin dive. I find it very unlikely that they would have both in there, but we're going to have dashing and sliding while shooting. I hope that they make it inaccurate because that would only make sense, but they're also changing up the way you prone and the way you crouch and some other sort of things. Peeking around corners is supposed to be back. Technically, if you play Black Ops 2 or Modern Warfare 3 on PC, you can still peek around corners. Even in multiplayer in Black Ops 2, you can peek around corners. These are common things. These are still in the game, but they're not available on console. Very limited usefulness. Not a lot of people do it, but supposedly the peeking around corners is back, and when you go prone, you can roll side to side DayZ style. So if you go prone and you got your gun, you don't have to pop back up to go into cover. You can simply roll to the right and roll to the left, and I'm hoping there's some sort of delay or balancing factor there, and it does make sense. That's a logical addition to the game. 
the next thing I got for you is that Spec Ops is going to be replaced with something new. I didn't get very much information about this, but the Spec Ops is totally gone, and we're getting a new style of minigame. I don't know what it is. Probably not zombies. That's really more of a Treyarch thing, but this is the information that I've got. So your minigames are going to be different. The team has a goal of having more destructive environments. This is in the implementation phase right now, what I've been told. They wanted more destructible environments like Battlefield, where you can trash the buildings, where you can kill people with the environment, and they said what they wanted is to where if you crash, if like if you shoot down somebody's kill streak and the helicopter crashes into a building, the building can fall and smush somebody. It's going well in single player, but multiplayer seems to be more problematic. What you should expect more of is kind of like the water and hydro, and I, was, <laughs> I keep thinking about the wacky, wavy, inflatable arm flailing flail man, but he doesn't actually do anything. He's just very distracting. More things in the environment that kill you, more things in the environment that you interact with, maybe not as destructible as what you'd hope for, but that's the goal on the team. And the big one, this is another one that I got not from this source, but from elsewhere because I've been a very, very busy little beaver, is that the game is supposed to launch only on next generation consoles. Again, this is a rumor, this is hearsay, this is what people that I trust have told me that I've managed to just dig out of them after countless hours of prying and very tricky questions, but it's going to be on the Xbox, the next box, the 720, whatever you want to call it. It's not announced yet. The PS4 and PC only. It's not going to be PS3, it's not going to be uh, Xbox 360, it, well PC doesn't really change. It's only going to be the next stuff, so in a way this also kind of pre-confirms the next Xbox console coming before Christmas time, because that's going to be the supposed launch of this game. But everybody kind of knew that was coming anyway, that's not the biggest deal, and that's what I've got with this game. That's what I've got on Modern Warfare 4, or Modern Warfare Ghosts, what have you. Hopefully this information is correct, hopefully I'm not being trolled by somebody that I trust, hopefully the information comes through in the end, but that's what I've got, that's why I'm posting it. I think you'll enjoy it, and overall, I don't know what to say about it. I don't know if the these are good changes, these are bad changes. I want to see them in their raw environment. I want to see what's going on. I want to see how the roll works. I want to see how the sliding works. Obviously, on the next consoles, the graphics will be better. I don't know if the story is bringing back Ghost, the character, or exactly what's going on with that, but it's definitely going to be interesting, and I want to see why in the future I have to use past weapons. Again, that's going to be interesting. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe, and be sure to say thank you to J-Hub for providing this gameplay on the fly. Drifter out.